Okay, so this is my latest game. It is a, a Space Invaders clone. Just one level, but I think it's pretty cool. Let's take a look. So press any key, bam. So I tried to do my best to imitate as much as I could the, the little details of Space Invaders. Because, you know, I've made a lot of, like, pretty simple games, so I wanted to add a little more detail, a little more polish, to make this seem like a real game. Uh, I took the graphics. For, for the enemy invaders, I just Google images. I happened to find a few and just uh, scaled them to the proper size, and uh, I think they look pretty cool. For the uh, green blockers, I, uh, they're, just, they're just green squares that I put to the screen. And, uh, and yeah, if I get hit three times, you see how my paddle was originally green, but when I get hit once, it turns yellow. When I get hit twice, it turns red. And uh, if I get hit three times, it's, it's game over. So I, I got rid of all the enemies, so it restarted. One thing you should notice is that the enemies are shooting, and it always shoots... So it chooses a random column of enemies and then it always shoots from the lowest point. So even though, as you can see, the second column has only two guys, it'll shoot from that guy, as you just saw. Uh, not, a, not super hard to, to do, but I thought it was a little detail that I thought adds something. And as, you, and as you also notice, that they're not all moving in sync. Like, each row moves at a slightly different pace. Or not pace, but different timing. And that was just by offsetting when each one starts at the very beginning. About, I think, 300 milliseconds. Um, yeah, and uh, another thing, probably my biggest disappointment with this game was the fact that I never got the, see how I'm blasting through this these green blocks? I never got them quite right. So I'm just going to restart, I'm just going to finish this game. Okay. So... Uh, as you can see, I can shoot through it, but instead of only doing one block at a time, sometimes it does two, and I don't know exactly why. I do this, like, I tried to implement a really simple version of swept collision, but it didn't didn't really work out. It's a really inefficient way of doing it as well, because I'm, I'm checking every single potential green block when I, every time I shoot. And that really slows down the program if I have too many of these blocks. But I'd actually make the blocks bigger. So. But yeah, this is my game. Uh, it works pretty well, I think. It's kind of fun. Um, as for the code. Um, yeah, like like the breakout game. I tried to use just classes. Uh, the, the main loop is a little complicated, which... I don't know if main loops are supposed to look this complicated. I think ideally they're supposed to be simple, but I have a different, I have a different, I have three if statements essentially, or logic, and just whether it's a game start, game over, or if the game is actually beginning. So game start is that intro screen, welcome to Space Invaders, game over is the game over screen, and then anything else, big game game. But uh, yeah, this is my game, it's pretty fun to make. Yeah, I again, I'm pretty disappointed that I can never get the the collisions properly working with those green blocks. Maybe I have to use an actual physics engine. That's probably a good idea. This is the one I use, but honestly, it's really simple and inefficient. But anyways, so that's my Pi game program, and hope you like it.